Mm -hmm. That looks good front to back. I can't tell nope, forward and backwards. Guys, I want to take a real quick second to shout out the sponsor of today's video, which is ya boy. So make sure to check out rbgcarts.com. We have a ton of parts for mini bikes and uh, these GX200s, Predator 212s, and we're adding a lot of the stuff over the next couple weeks. So you're going to want to check out rbgcarts.com. That supports us directly and uh, doesn't go through another sponsor, and it's awesome that we're able to do this finally. Uh, because of you guys supporting our website and buying our parts and stuff, we was able to finally hire Lonnie part-time. He's working about 24 hours a week, which is awesome because Lonnie was able to quit his day job, work for us, and he's flipping houses with his dad. And we're happy. Lonnie's happy, and we can't wait to, uh, to do even more with Lonnie on the channel this year. So thank you guys so much for supporting us and supporting our website and our channel and the views over the years. Uh, we really, really appreciate it. We couldn't do this without you guys. Uh, so we, we ask for your continued support. So uh, check out rbgcars.com. We just dropped some new parts, uh, especially the Coleman B200 RSV frame bushings. We finally got those made. They're on the website. Check those out. Buy some parts. Fix up your mini bikes and go-karts using rbgcars.com. Uh, thank you guys, and let's get back to the video. So we're trying to figure out where to put the steering rack, and this is the only issue with using an existing front end that we're like modifying. So we want the rack to be angled towards the driver instead of just straight because that keeps the angles of our U-joint a little better on our steering. We also need to make sure that when we turn it, we have enough space in that gap right there for these C's to pass through. And there'll be boots on this and we don't want the boots rubbing. So what I think we're gonna have to do on this back box is cut out uh, probably the X and the sides. We can leave the top bar, that's fine, and just cut straight from the top of that X across on both sides and at the bottom. And this was a scrap piece that we had notched to mount the steering rack to that's not gonna work, but we could also weld that in there to tie that, all that in. It's a little overkill, but we can. We have it already notched. But, uh, so I think we're gonna cut that X out. Then I'm gonna make extra long tabs for the steering rack, and we're gonna plate this whole section right here with 3 16 it's a little overkill it's just weird how this front end is there's probably a better way i don't see it but so we're going to plate that opening there 3 16 weld it in fully then i'm going to make extra long tabs for that steering rack to go down and slant and weld to that plate and then we can brace off of that to these uprights all right skipping ahead a wee bit i went ahead and built this little box that encapsulates the steering rack and now when we put an angle cut on that puppy had to cut our x out unfortunately now this sits right in there ish about there and we can tack that in and uh we'll be golden mm -hmm. Still level? You drew up a tad bit, but you're still between the lines. So, I made some tie rods. <sighs> we got one made and got a tab made, got our Ackerman angle, 60 40. And now we're just setting everything one side at a time. Once we know this one's good, we can switch out. Um, I can, I'm only doing one tab at a time, also in addition to that as well. Perfect. Bring it back, Lonnie. Let me tack it again. That literally didn't have one bit of bump here. I don't know if my Ackerman angle is going to be great. There we go. Because of uh, 
I think I'm off a little bit on Ackerman angle. Ackerman angle is when you turn it. The uh, outside tire turns more than the inside tire to kind of dig into the ground and push you around the turn. When you got a locked rear end, like a live axle, it helps not push you through the turn. You know, it'll want to dig in and bite and turn. And right now our Ackerman angle is decent. I wouldn't call my sister in Charlotte about it. Now let's see how much travel we have through. Right. Okay. Yeah, we don't, we're not going to run out of hind joint travel. Can you see it turning any? Turning left or right, not camber or nothing. Yeah, it looks real good. I think what I'm going to do is change the oil. I got some AMS oil small engine. I'm not going to run Dominator. The small engine stuff is designed for these type engines. This thing don't rev past 4,000 RPMs. So this stuff is going to be awesome. It takes a little under three quarts for this one. I'm going to see if I have an AMS oil, oil filter. Uh, we have the sponsor Clovis. If you check the links out for AMS oil in the video description, you'll find where you can get um, AMS oil down there. And if you become a preferred member, it actually makes Amzul um, as, as expensive, like as inexpensive as getting just regular oil at the, at the uh, parts store. It'll, you'll save up to 25%. And when we say up to 25%, that's on the normal, like 1030 and stuff, you're most likely gonna save the most on it because it's what people buy the most. Uh, so we're gonna change the oil on this thing. We're gonna also drain our catch can it seems to be full because it's leaking all over the chassis this is going to make an absolute mess i got to get a hose to drain this engine so not looking forward to that we're going to get that done we're going to oil our chain and then we can take this thing out riding finally and i'm so pumped because this thing's going to be insane So if you have a Duramax 999, the EA15K51 oil filter uh, fits this engine. So this would be the same filter you do use on a 670. And Amsoil is a full synthetic filter. So couple this with AMS oil in your engine and it's gonna last a super long time. All right, so everything's done. We got a little bit of camber to this wheel. We need to adjust the top uh, time joint in, probably like a turn or so, but it's fine for now. Everything looks good. We set the preload on the shocks all the way down. We had them all the way up and it was way too stiff. So it's gonna be a stiff for front end, but I think it'll be perfect for me because they don't have a lot of travel anyway. So first ride, Lonnie's on the bike to follow me. We'll see what she feels like.
Everything feels real good. It's so crazy because this buggy was always like really bad at steering. You had hardly none. We haven't added the front brakes yet. It's going to be a little too stiff for Lonnie, I think. All right, so the front end did really well, but it's super stiff. So we did order some nitrogen shocks. These are quite a bit softer than those shocks we used. Only problem is the reservoir. Uh, so if we put them with the reservoir pointing out, we hit the upper A-arm. And uh, if we put them pointed in, we hit the brace on the upper A-arm. Uh, so what we're gonna do in the next episode is we're gonna cut that brace out. We're gonna slap these on. We're also gonna move the rear shocks. That The buggy's way too uh, stiff front and rear it literally bounces you all over the place so that's what we're going to do in the next episode is uh, replace the front shocks move the rear shocks forward and we finally ordered a harness for that thing because you about bounce out of the seat so we need to make it safe and then we'll do another ride uh after we do the suspension upgrade so uh thank you guys so much for checking out the video let us know what you think about the front end again we know it was super stiff uh we just was using what we had there's not enough a room to really place those shocks anywhere else on the front so we had to do with what we had now we have the other shocks we can fix that in the next episode so uh make sure to check out the links in the video description and support rbgcars.com because that helps continue to put out new videos and keep the channel going guys thank you so much for all the love and support we're hoping to hit 500,000 by the end of the year so uh help us to reach that achievement that would be awesome and Lonnie now works here part-time a lot of you guys might not know that but he's working uh about 20 he's working over 20 hours a week now which is awesome and uh Lonnie's happy we're happy and it's great to be able to finally do these things so make sure to check out the links support your boy and uh, we love you guys and god bless